iPod press release, January 1, 2024. The founder and chief sponsor of Boko Haram, Shetima, claiming to bring peace to the southeast, is pure hallucination. The reckless and unguided statement from Nigeria Vice President Alhaji Shetima, who said Tinubu's government will end insecurity in the southeast, is an indication that Tinubu's government is planning a genocide against Igbo people. More so, it is a smart way of diverting attention from the genocide his boys are committing in Plateau State. The founder of terrorists and sponsors can deceive or divert the attention of some gullible Nigerians, but not the IPOB movement, led by the indomitable and unbreakable leader, Mazi Namdikanu the Great. In a recent visit of the Vice President to the country home of the Deputy House of Representative, in Bende, Abia State, the Nigeria Vice President was quoted as saying that Tinubu's government will end terrorism in the Southeast. The hypocritic Vice President didn't condemn the barbaric murder of innocent Christians in Plateau State by his boys, the Fulani terrorist herdsmen nicknamed bandits, but had the temerity to talk about state-sponsored insecurity in the Southeast. The whole world knows that the Southeast has been the most peaceful region in the zoo called Nigeria according to the United Nations Peace Index report. Those responsible for the violent crimes and kidnappings in the Southeast are the federal government of Nigeria's sponsored Fulani herdsmen bandits and some misguided Igbo criminals hired, just to blackmail Mazi Namdi Kanu and the IPOB movement. However, if Tinubu's government has found it worthy to restore peace in El Igbo by calling their recruited criminals and their Boko Haram security outfits to order, that will be welcome development. The only way Tinubu can stop insecurity and insurgency in the Southeast region is to release Mazi Namdi Kanu. Every Dick and Harry need to calm down and start checkmating the criminals in our midst. This event, held in the personal house of the Deputy House Speaker in Bende, is an APC political party, or jamboree to congratulate themselves of rigging themselves back into state and local government. Hope Uzudinma had done the same in Oweri three months ago. Dave Omahi did it in Ebony State during his term as governor of that state. All these did not work because it was political show-off or jamboree by a PC politicians and their governments. There will be no peace in the Southeast until Mazi Namdi Kanu is released. The following conditions should be met. 1. They should release Mazi Namdi Kanu from DSS solitary confinement because everyone in the southeast is behind him. 2. Withdraw all Fulani herdsmen and order them to desist from killing our people and taking our farmlands, raping and attacking Biafran communities in their bid to forcefully occupy our land for grazing their animals and to stop displacing the indigenous people from their lands all over Nigeria but in Biafra territory in particular. 3. Stop all the military and police checkpoints stationed across Alegbo to harass, extort, kidnap, and kill innocent Biafrans at any little provocation. Until these dangerous checkpoints on our roads are removed, there will be no peace. 4. Release all the IPOB members abducted unjustly by the Nigeria DSS and taken to the north and placed in dungeons of the army. The police and DSS, there will be no peace until these are done. 5. The northern oligarch must stop insisting on imposing criminals and murderous individuals on us as Igbo political leaders, like Nice and Wyke and others. The gathering of Pipe P is a gathering of political vultures and have no different agenda from their predecessors who have displayed such political wickedness during their tenure in the past. It is said that charity begins at home. We expect that the Vice President Alhaji Shetima address the murderous activities of Boko Haram and other terrorist groups ravaging the northern Nigeria before addressing the menace of their state-sponsored criminals in Biafra land. He can't claim innocence and ignorance of the activities of the Wahhabi terrorists in the north Alhaji Shetima was among the northern elites who sponsored and propelled the Islamic Jihadist movement in Nigeria. The idea of blackmailing Indigbo with the state-sponsored insecurity while hiding their marauding jihadists and terrorists Boko Haram is dead on arrival. The deceptive statement from the Vice President Alhaji Shetima should be a source of concern to Indigbo. Every Biafran should understand that the fulanization agenda is still much on course Shetima 
You can only deceive those your political jobbers, not intelligent people like IPOB members. The recent massacre of Christians in Plateau State is a pointer for what is to expect from the jihadist government of Nigeria. The unfortunate statement from Alhaji Shetima is a pointer that the jihadists' government in Nigeria perhaps has concluded plans to commence long-awaited ethnic cleansing agenda against Ndigbo in the name of quelling, insecurity that they created in Biafra land. Ndigbo should be careful and not be carried away by the divide-and-conquer tactics of the government. The federal government of Nigeria and their media strategy is used to hype up the insecurity in the east while playing down the terrorist activities in the north. There have been bubbling peaceful Christmas seasons activities in the east on Christmas Day and throughout the season of Christmas. On the contrary, there had been massacre of Plateau Christians by Fulani terrorists, disrupting the season's festivities for those Christians. The more they try to demonize in Digbo, the more our God vindicates us. If there is a region of terrorism concern, it should be the northern region of the damnable Republic of Animal Kingdom known as Nigeria, not the southeast region. If indeed Tanubu's government is serious in addressing the insecurity in the east, the antidote to that manufactured insecurity is the release of Mazi Namdi Kanu. If Mazi Namdi Kanu is released today, the double agents terrorizing Alegbo will have no more justification of using his name in their criminalities. But the idea of intimidating the Supreme Court justices to use the instrumentality of laws to illegally detain Mazi Namdi Kanu so that the government can buy time to unleash more blackmail on IPOB will be resisted. It is unfortunate that Nigeria's Supreme Court justices condemned the federal government for the illegal abduction and extraordinary rendition of Mazi Namdi Kanu, yet lacks the courage to deliver justice. The weakness and cowardice that the Supreme Court justices displayed in the case of Mazi Namdi Kanu has shown to the world that Nigeria is a pariah state. Anytime you hear such a bloody statement from a terrorist sympathetic government against Ndigbo, they are up to something no good. Therefore, IPOB is warning Tinubu's government to abort any plans of military invasion of Biafra land or of sending their foot soldiers, the Fulani bandits and herdsmen, to start mass killings in the southeast. IPOB volunteers and ESN will always defend our land against murderous criminals. Comrade Emma Powerful, M-E-D-I-A, and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. Stay tuned and have a blessed new year. Never forget to say a word of prayer for our great leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu and IPOB leadership.